Panthers on the road for their final game of the regular season against Missouri S&T. Drury is locked in as the number eight seed in the first round of the GLVC tournament on Sunday at Drury. Today's game with no effect on that, but DU does have a four-game winning streak on the line. Panthers down 16-15. Josh Palmer going to change that. You know, they say the art of the back-to-the-basket big is trending downward. Palmer, two straight buckets, showing why that style of play is so valuable. Alan Hyatt says, hey, don't forget about me. Drury's Biggs doing it early. Panthers up 21-18. Jawan Miller with the answer on the other end. Pretty step back. Miners climb ahead 24-21 thanks to an over five-minute scoring drought from the Panthers. Dougie Moore finally breaks the scoreless streak. Low scoring first half. Both teams playing tight. Josh Palmer was not. Palmer down low was a bright light for DU in the first half. But the Miners continuing to answer three-point game. Not for long. Danny Zukov switches it home from three. He ties things at 33-33 heading into the half. The three-point shot keeping s &T in this game. Speaking of threes, Toloy Simon shoots at 39% from out there. He puts the Miners up seven. That number grows all the way to 13 until Palmer stops the bleeding. He led all scores with 21 and one. Count the free throw. Drury down 59-49. But s &T keeps the three-point barrage coming. Irvin Sir Eilich lead back to 12. Then off the steal, it's Miller again coast to coast to the rack. That pushes the lead all the way to 18 68-50. And here's the exclamation point. This is the kind of second half it was for Drury. Randy Holmes corrals the rebound, somehow flips it up and in. He goes for 20. Missouri S&T shoots 12 of 31 from three and closes out their season with a win at home over Drury, 77-62.